When we're working with remote sensing, there might be several different kinds of field data that we want to consider. One would be the training areas. If we're doing a supervised classification and we want to use some training areas, we should know for sure what is in those training areas. This might come because we're just very familiar with the area, but oftentimes it would be good to verify that by actually going out in the field and making sure that the area we've identified as a training area actually does contain what we think it contains, such as a certain type of forest or a certain agricultural crop. Um, another place the field data is important is when we're trying to model the spectral behavior of landscape features, such as certain types of plants or other features. One way that we can do this is we can go out in the field with an instrument that's similar to the sensors on the satellite and see how the measurements of certain portions, certain bands of the electromagnetic spectrum compare um, field measurements to the actual measurements from the satellite. If we were doing this, this would be a process called field radiometry. And the third way in which we need field data for um, remote sensing analysis, especially image classification, is for accuracy assessment or ground truthing. So what we typically do is we randomly sample an area and then we verify that at those random points, what we think um, from our image classification is on the ground is actually on the ground or whether it's something else. And we'll go over that um, in other parts in detail. But for the training areas, once again, if we have a raw image that looks like this, the one on the left, and we want to select out certain areas, such as, um, such as a forested area, and um, when we outline that data, that area with a um, shape file, we want to make sure that what's inside that layer is actually what we think it is. So we would want to verify all of those smaller areas on the right to make sure what we think is in those areas is actually in those areas. As far as the field radiometry goes, this could be a handheld device where we're actually just going out with a, um, with a reflectance probe, which is measuring the light that's being reflected off of the, um, in this case, those, those uh, leaves on the tree. And we might be measuring that in different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum in order to verify that um, the response that we're getting on the ground is similar to the response that we're getting in the remote sensing image. And of course, this is kind of from the side, there could be issues with lighting or other issues. So sometimes we might have some more a, um, operation like this, where right below the boom of this truck, there's a um, patch, of, uh, patch of vegetation that we want to verify um, the spectral response of. So we would actually take radiometric measurements from the boom of that truck in order to see that what's on the ground, um, what sort of spectral response it has with respect to different bands of the electromagnetic spectrum.